Gemini, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for February 19th through the 25th. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from Spirit today. We're going to pull the tarot energies in, and we're going to talk about some pre-shuffled oracle messages. Thank you for tuning in, for sharing this space with me today. It's a pleasure to have you here. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. Mm. Could be feeling the love this week. Just some stability. I'm getting um, stability, all right? Ooh. Maybe saying no to an energy. We'll see. You want stability. Looking for stability. I'm not sure about where you want to invest. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Geminis. All right. Gemini. Ooh, that one to come flying out. All right. You're owning it this week. The Emperor. You could be dealing with someone in your life that you maybe put up a little bit on a pedestal. Could have an Aries placement there. Or it could be you really going after it in your own empowerment in your work life. Let's see. Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. Your opportunity. Interesting. This is about your long-term investments. Nine of Cups in the near future. Fulfillment. The challenge is the Hermit. Spending time in solitude. Spending time on your own, I think, will be really important this week, Gemini. Ace of Cups, what you don't see coming. Heart opening, maybe a love offer come, going on, or just, you know, feeling the love this week. All right, your pre-shuffled inner, um, inner piece, your pre-shuffled, your first pre-shuffled oracle message. This is by um, Sacred Destiny Oracle by Denise Lynn. I love this deck. Um, I love nature. It's a beautiful metaphor. Here we have a lily pond, okay? See the koi? Out of the darkness... Mud arises, right? Out of mud, right? A thing of immense beauty and grace arises. This is the whole lotus flower metaphor that we all have heard of, where you may have had a lot of adversity in your life from grit to grace, right? So this card is, sim is symbolic of the tranquility that occurs when you realize that your life is unfolding according to divine will, to the divine plan, okay? And this is being peaceful, at peace, with where you are currently, okay? No matter what's going on in your life, this is finding that inner state of being where everything is calm, okay? And there's a certain level of contentment that I'm, that I'm getting, right? And I think you're at a place in your life, at least right now, where things feel stable and it's allowing you to relax and stand in a place where you can feel more of the messages coming from your soul. Let me put this up here. Hey. The second, and the reason why I'm saying that is sometimes things need to slow down in our lives for us to reevaluate things from a different perspective. I feel like there's going to be an appreciation this week that you'll have for your life and where you are right now. It's this feeling of just contentment. I'm getting that strongly. Right here we have the card of standstill, which is the swamplands. And the swamplands are low-lying areas where there's a lot of water that's been collected. So you could be dealing with a lot of water around you. You could live near the water. Water is symbolic of our emotions and the things that we feel. So because that um, this bird is, is, is really being cautious and careful about its next moves. So you could be needing to pause this week so you can collect your thoughts, so you can be very tactical about your next move, okay? Sometimes things have to slow down, right? Sometimes things don't progress the way we want them to in certain areas because we need to t t pause and consider, right, um, the things that we need to do and shift and change within us to unlock any kind of barriers. So there's some sort of barrier that you might encounter this week and you need to just wait it out, okay? And be careful because you don't want to wrestle. When we get, when you wrestle, when you're stuck in the mud, it's going to make things worse. So watch out for any place of resistance within you around the circumstances that you encounter this week. Overall, I do believe that you're going to be feeling a beautiful level of inner peace and, and almost this need and necessariness of, of, of waiting and just standing still. All right, let's go deeper into what's going on for the week ahead. I love seeing these cards. It feels, it feels like a very solid, solid week for you. This is a harvest time. Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. 
but you could be going back and forth about what you want to invest in or what you want to harvest out of life right now, where you find yourself. You could be really, um, you might have some plans with your friends this week, Three of Cups, where um, you're looking forward to these gatherings. You're looking forward to seeing your friends, spending time with them. The Emperor, overall general energy, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups, and the Chariot, beautiful. Well, there might be a bit of a push-pull, especially with a standstill in the Chariot. You might be being guided to slow down in a love situation because we have the Knight of Cups. And uh, that's someone coming in, you know, really uh, in a very romantic embodiment towards you with their cup of love. And they could be coming in pretty fast. So I think you're being guided this week. It's going to bring a lot of contentment. I think you might be looking at an opportunity coming in or has recently come in, Gemini, around love. And it's looking promising, but you're still collecting data. <laughs> you're still being careful. And if this is an existing connection, it's, it's you know, you're moving forward from a state of love. And it's almost just like you keep pausing and recognizing, wow, I'm so lucky. This is that pause of feeling so blessed and lucky in a connection that feels really good to you, okay? The moon and the sun, I mean, why did I say the sun? The moon and the ace of cups. There's this aspect of, there's been layers and layers and layers for those of you in a connection over time of the love growing deeper and deeper and deeper and stronger and stronger. And no matter what you encounter, whether the two of you get stuck in the mud sometimes, there's still this inner peace that is encompassing the entire connection at all times. This person brings you peace. That's all I know. Interesting. I feel this gentleness coming from this bond. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. Yeah, the opportunity. Five of Pentacles. Five of Wands. All right. Some of you, if this is a, a newer connection or if it's an existing connection, the opportunity this week is to remember your investment here. <laughs> you could be getting challenged in some aspect. I kind of feel like the two of you are, are dealing with some sort of adversity outside of you for existing couples. And this is that, you know, figuring out what has value. I feel like you're contending with a, an, an impulsive energy that affects both of you. Um, and now this is a newer connection, right, for people that are entering into a love situation. This is whether you're investing in something that still holds value for you because there is, there is some sort of energy that feels a little bit flighty. You know, nights come in, they come full speed in, and you're like, wow, this is happening so fast. Is this going to be reliable? Underlying, I do see the Ten of Pentacles, but there's this aspect I think you're going on within yourself this week and a need to go within. That's the challenge because there's something about this that is kind of um, feeling a little bit off and you're, you're pulling back and going, is this, is this going to hold the value that I think it's going to hold here? From the five to the ten, okay? But with two fives here, there's some sort of friction going on around you receiving this offer and, and trusting that it could be a really prosperous and long-term investment. Now, for those of you that are couples, you could be looking at investing in something together and you could be disagreeing about that. One person wants to go this way and the other person wants to go that way when it comes to what you want to invest in for the future. And you both have different opinions about what your value is around you, around what you want. And trying to come to a place of agreement has been very difficult, okay, for you Geminis that are in a long-term partnership and or a marriage here. There's some contention going on because you have different points of view about what you want to put your investments in and what you both value out of those investments and what you both want. Just don't be impulsive with making any decisions right now around any investment love or otherwise, okay, Gemini, this week in particular. And the hermit energy, the challenge here of going forward, you needing to go within to shine a light on what you can't see. That's that standstill energy. You need to take a pause long enough to be able to see through the, the, um, the murkiness of the mud, okay? Ooh, yeah, the devil, the fool, and the six of wands. All right, for those of you that are, are wondering if a situation still holds value for you, you have a lot of love to give, Gemini. I see that clearly. And, and this, your satisfaction and your fulfillment is on the line right now, okay? For those of you that are opening up into a new love situation, 
you're being very careful. And I like seeing that because you know that when it comes to your long-term investments, it's very imperative that you, very, it's imperative that you practice discernment and you're very cautious about what you allow in. Because you only, you're showing me you only want to invest in the things that will be long-term. You don't want something that's going to just, you know, burn brightly quickly and fade out like a firework, right? I don't, you know, fireworks are fireworks. They're beautiful, but they are short-lived. So you want something that's not really short-lived. You want it to last. Okay. That's your opportunity is to consider what you're investing in and the fact that whatever choice you make this week, you want it to be a wise investment. Okay. And this hermit energy, what you're being guided to go within is to be very careful about any energies in a brand new beginning, any new people, any new situations that don't feel right to you. This is about trusting your gut. Okay, Gemini, you got to trust your gut when it comes to a new opportunity. Okay, you will ultimately find success here. But there's something that you're conquering around an energy. This could have to do with you realizing it's time for a new beginning. And the challenge is, is opening up into a new beginning and recognizing you're sifting and sorting through different energies this week. Some of you will round love. And trying to temper any situation that feels like it's getting out of hand. It's like, whoa, this person needs to slow down. You know, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. I feel like you're getting overwhelmed with an energy, Gemini. Um, especially you singles out there. You know, ultimately, I think you're calling in what you want. But you could have multiple opportunities here. And you need to go within and be very sure about what you're investing in. Okay, especially around a new beginning in love. Because if you, you want something that will really, I mean, your whole desire this week is you want, you want someone who's an, at an elevated status, who's going to be consistent and reliable, okay? And for those of you couples, you, like I said, there's something about an investment and you're, and you're going towards something and you're in disagreement about something in the future, all right? And whether it holds value and how it holds value and your different perspectives, and going within and being careful about what you begin that's new this week. The challenge is, is opening up to a new opportunity, but being very careful about the steps you take. That's the standstill. You have to be very careful when you feel stuck in the mud, which step you take to get out of that. It's almost as though you could be in a dicey situation in love or in an investment and looking ahead and going, hmm, is now the time to pull out? Is this the right person? You're asking yourself those crucial questions this week. Yeah, and really you need to be wise here at the King of Swords. Practice wisdom here, all right? And true discernment, Gemini. Because <clears throat> your satisfaction and your fulfillment is on the line here. All right. And this devil could have a lot to do with you just being afraid. Being afraid to open up, okay? Because ultimately you want success here. Whether it's in your investments financially or in love, right? With your heart space. Obviously, you don't want to invest in something that's not going to succeed for you. But I do see in the near future, you're going to make the right decision. A lot of you, this has to do with love. Oh, and being back and forth. Wow. Two of Pentacles, two of Wands, and judgment over the Nine of Cups. You're not sure whether this person or situation is going to give you what you want, which is satisfaction, fulfillment, joy, contentment. You're in two minds about somebody. You're trying to make a proper decision. You've got two paths ahead of you. Like I said, for you couples out there, I think that there's two ways, two perspectives. You're challenged right now because you both are disagreeing about what you're investing in long term. You could be um, have different opinions about whether you, one of you wants kids, the other one doesn't. One of you wants to move, the other one doesn't. I mean, th this is like long term investment. Or one of you wants to invest in this business, the other one doesn't. There's something that you're in di disagreement about as a couple for couples out there. And for singles out there, you are definitely trying to figure out two different paths here. Maybe to open up and welcome a new romantic partner in or stay single. Or two people. You could have two options here in love. And one feels really open and great. And one is making you feel a little, ooh, I don't know. There's an I don't know over somebody in your life for you singles out there. And you could be at a standstill with one energy, trying to learn from that and rid yourself of this could be a past situation. And now it's time to open up to something that will be successful for you, Gemini. Okay. Let's see what you don't see coming with this Ace of Cups. 
Whatever this is, you want the right people on your team with the Three of Pentacles. That's all you know. You want it to feel right, okay? So go towards what feels right, okay? What feels right, Gemini? Ace of Cups, clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Wow. This is you feeling a bit restricted when it comes to pursuing things that really light you up, okay? There's something around your heart space and around opening up into a new opportunity. Um, what you don't see coming is you will be doing that, but you're going to have to free yourself from something else first, whether you need to really come to a common uh, ground, middle path, almost like you need to compromise with someone that you're with in order to get what you want, okay? Others of you, you, you need to release something from the past and get full closure and heal from that before you move forward into new beginning. But if you're, if you're worried and scared that that new beginning is not going to come, it is. Okay, but you've got to decide ultimately you. You got to choose you and your own happiness and contentment moving forward. And you're going to have to, it's going to feel emotional at times. And it's, you're going to feel um, some restrictions at times, especially around your heart and opening up. Because I feel, feel like a lot of you Geminis have gone through something that was very wounding in your, in your love space, in your heart space around the people or a person that you cared about. And that wounding is now informing you to be careful about what you allow in next, okay? And to be careful and take your time, okay? You will find inner peace in time if you're dealing with removing um, yourself from an unhealthy situation, okay? Knowing something was going to be so much better once you let go, okay? What you don't see coming is you are going to fall in love again for those of you who are scared about really transforming and letting somebody new in you're doing it okay i see you doing it i think you might have an in and out energy that you are trying to release because you know that you want something that will be more stable for you okay and this is that instability that you know people that are unhealthy can create and trying to recognize that see it i do believe that your guides you have a lot of answers and signs coming in this week pay attention to them because they're going to help lead you in the right direction you you do have a fork in the road right now in the near future you're having to make a critical crucial decision all of you and you're going to have to leave something behind to do it in order to free yourself and open up into a new beginning that's going to be feeling so much lighter and better for you okay let's get some advice from spirit to close it off. You will ultimately, ultimately succeed. Be careful about who you invest in and what you invest in, okay? Be careful who you trust, okay, Gemini? That's what I'm getting. Be careful who you trust with your money or with your heart, all right? And what you invest in that's new. That's why you got to proceed with caution, okay? Ultimately, inner peace can be found here, but it might be a bit of a struggle this week to find it. This one wants to come out. This one. King of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. This is about your stability, Gemini. Okay? I do believe that when it comes to your choices in love, you have so many opportunities that Spirit wants you to know. Okay? And for those of you who are... <laughs> one, I believe for you couples out there, one of you is really, really passionate. The other one's really grounded. And you're, you're trying to figure out what to invest in next. This is your, what you're doing as a couple next, that next step, the next level. And you are disagreeing, right, about what to do next that, that involves your long-term plan as a couple, okay? And go with your heart, okay? Let your heart lead you, but really choose things that bring the most stability, okay, that feel the best to you, all right? You've got to make some crucial decisions. There's a lot of options opening up for you, Geminis out there in love and in your investments as a couple. So this week, I think you're navigating how to make those decisions and being strategic and tactical about that and releasing whatever is unhealthy in a bond or releasing a past person so you can open up to what you really deeply desire and deserve. Okay, Gemini, take care.